guys. This is a video in response to a comment or a request from Todd Parsons. He wanted to see a video with all the grips in one place, all the grips in one video for the four pitches that I teach. I thought that was a good idea. Otherwise, you'd have to go through each one of the videos that teach the entire pitch just to just to find the grip. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you the grip. And along as we go, I'll put a, a little card or a little indicator at the top here where you can click and go to the video that teaches the full pitch, all the mechanics, everything you need to know to learn that pitch. But uh, anyway, just for the grip, first thing I'm going to show you is the four seam backspin pitch. And that pitch, I throw it four seams, so the rotation is going to be four seams. And then what you want is a wide grip, okay? You want those fingers really close to the axis of rotation. All right, and then your thumb on the back side on the opposite or the opposing uh, seam. And the reason you want those fingers wide is because the closer your fingers are to that rotational axis, the, the higher the spin rate is going to be, and that is what makes this pitch effective. So that's the grip for the four seam straight pitch. Now let's move on to the breaking pitches. Uh, this, the first one I'll show you is the slider, and actually they're both the same, but you, you release them slightly differently. Now the way I would teach it to begin with, and I'll tell you in just a minute why I don't throw it exactly like this anymore, but it's a good place to start, and I would recommend that you start it this way. And that is, you're going to use essentially the same grip as the four seam pitch, only you're going on the two seam direction. Now if you haven't done it yet, stripe your practice balls and I'll, I'll make a link here above so you can click on that and I'll show you how to do that pretty quick but you want to stripe your practice balls because this is invaluable when you're learning a new pitch so go with a wide grip again it's close to the rotational axis gives you a high spin rate and then on the bottom now you notice on the four seam grip I had it directly below but on this pitch I just move it over to the seam that gives me a little better grip so it's very similar except you just do go over to the seam slightly on this side. Now for the ring finger it doesn't do a lot in the screw uh, for the slider it will be more effective in the screwball and I'll tell you why in just a minute but what you want to do is essentially grip you know put your ring finger here on the on the side as support and then you're going to you split the difference here. That light's a little bright. Split the difference here um, on your fingers. Put that seam straight down the middle, okay? And this is the same grip you're going to use for the screwball and the slider. So for the slider, let's start with the slider on the release. And again, this is not intended to be a lesson on this pitch because I'll put a link above again. Like I said, if you want to learn to throw the slider, check out that video. It's more comprehensive. It gives you all the details. But just, just so as it affects the grip, for the slider, you're going to throw it pushing with the thumb, essentially. So you're going to come up. You're going to spin the ball. You're going to create that rotation toward the glove side because that's where the slider breaks. It, it breaks to your glove side. So as you come up, you're going to push with the thumb on the bottom and then spin it toward the glove side. And it should come out looking something like this, okay? Now, remember I said just a moment ago that I started out with even distance here on the grip. But I found that over time, my mechanics have changed slightly and some other things as I've, as I've mastered the pitch that has caused that rotation not to be as, as consistent when I throw it this way. When I throw it like this now, the ball tends to wobble like this a little bit. I don't get a nice clean rotation on the seam. But if you notice here, this pitch is nice and straight. The rotational axis is in line with the stripe. Now this pitch, the rotational axis is kind of wobbly. You say, well, what difference does it make? Well, the wobbly rotation introduces a lot more friction, or I should say turbulence, on the high pressure side of the ball, and that's going to reduce the amount of break. So if you're pitching, if you're throwing and your pitches aren't breaking well, make sure that your axis rotation is right you know, is, is nice and straight on the axis and you're not getting wobbled. Now I'm starting to get into pitching lessons, which I didn't really want to get into. But in any case, it's just important 
as far as the grip goes, my grip now is turned like this. The stripe, when I practice, is more in line with my middle finger. It's just the adjustment I've had to make. So if you're getting a wobbly pitch, just experiment with the, the rotation of the ball or the position of the ball in relationship to your hand and that force or that two seam alignment for rotation. So over time, I've just made a slight adjustment, slight adjustment, and, and they, I may have to make adjustments as I go on. But that's where you make the adjustment to get that rotation right, all right? So that's the slider, push with the thumb, spin it toward the glove side. Now for the screwball, I do the same thing. Same grip, I would start it the same way. Now again, mine has kind of migrated over to the middle finger side. But I wouldn't start that way because when I first began throwing this pitch, it rotated very well, just like this, but over time it's moved, and I've had to make the adjustment. But now the difference between the, the screwball and the slider, on the screwball, what you want to do is instead of pushing with the thumb and spinning toward the glove side, you're going to push with the ring finger underneath, and you're going to spin toward the pitching arm side. And that pitch is going to come out, it's going to spin like this, and it's going to break toward the pitching arm side. Okay? Now that's the breaking ball grips now to the knuckleball. Now the knuckleball, I throw a very simple knuckleball. No bells and whistles here. It's just, you know, and you just have to learn this pitch. It's not an easy pitch to, 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 to learn. And, and it's a really, it's a pitch that's, there's a lot of feel in this pitch. I, th I throw it four seams, palm up, okay? I use all four fingers. I put them right on the seams like this, okay? On the back side, I put my thumb on the seam. I make sure there's a little space here between the ball and my hand. If you have a smaller hand, you might have a little trouble with that, but it's not a big deal. The main thing is that you contact the ball with the fingertips and the thumb. And when you pitch this ball, you're pitching it without any wrist action. You put any wrist action in this, you're going to introduce spin to the ball. just defeats the whole purpose. Okay, there's a lot more push here. And because of that, you have to generate more arm speed. Again, I'm getting into pitching lessons, so anyway. That's the grip, okay? You push that ball straight up, you release it with your fingers and your thumbs at the same time, all right? So those are the four grips. If you want more information, I'll leave it also at the end of this video. I'll leave a link to all the lessons on the pitches. So if you want to learn them in more depth, you can do that. So uh, Todd, thanks for that request. I think that was a great idea. We'll see you guys later. Take care.